1200. Let's keep the setup going. Every time I play, I gotta restart the arrows. Nice. We got the double Fianchetto set up, and now we just have to develop the knights. E6. Whoa, that's annoying. I can't go D6. But we can go A6. No worries. The Hippopotamus. I'm undefeated so far. There we go. You know, when the knights come here, they are they are effective. Mm. I want white to take this so my bishop opens up. Perfect. Perfect. That's a target. And that is a free pawn, is it not? Check. And then I'm just going to slide back. Hmm. Is there some sacrifice here I should be worried about? Well, just in case there is, I'm going to go knight c5. I want to develop the knight, hit the bishop, and overprotect e6. If I can get rid of this bishop, I'll have dominance over the light squares. Yeah, I'm getting rid of your bishop. H6. Now I can castle. There's no pieces bothering me. Mm. Let's make sure this doesn't hang. Maybe rook here. Maybe I can go d5. d5 is fine. I just like my bishop. That's why I'm hesitating. Whoa! That is not, unfortunately, the move. You got to get really good at knowing how your bishop works. Should be an instant spot. An instant uh, kill. Thank you for the rook. Or sell. Arcadion 48. Good luck. Alrighty, let's go d6, d6, so against, against h4, I think I'm going to go h6, then I can meet h5 with g5. Okay, let's move, get my knights in. And we're going to avoid confrontation for now. We're going to survive the opening and uh, things will open up later. Trust. Like that. Let's open up a little bit on the queen side. Whoa! E4. That weakens the c4 square, and I'm gonna go knight b6, knight c4. Yeah. That's weakening the king. They go king b3, I'll give them respect. That's definitely high energy. Yeah. But what's white doing here? They have no attack. I'm just gonna castle, and uh, there's no stress. Let's attack 
White's king now. I want to get to the king. Just open lines up. Right? We want to open lines up. Open this bishop up. Alrighty, chat. YouTube, wherever you are. White to play. Sorry, black to play and win. Okay, nobody messed that one up. Check. That's a fork. And the rook and bishop are also coming in. So am I going to take the queen? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in. Oh, well, resigned. You could take the queen. You can also take with check as well. And when you can take with check, you like to do that. Gives you another opportunity to say check. There we go. Good job. Good job. We're a team. Super 1357. I'm getting black every game. That's excellent because it's more educational. Because this opening is better to play as black than with white. I would I would say. Oh, I met okay. I'm gonna transpose. It wasn't I, I messed up the move order, but it's gonna transpose. Okay, now we're back. As long as you know where the pieces go and why they go there, that's what openings are for. Memorization only gets you so far. I'm gonna go h6 and a6. Throw in some more uh, defense. I'm gonna go queen here. If you're gonna get rid of my bishop, then my queen is gonna replace it. Is it a good time to castle? Why not? White has no pieces particularly interfering with my position. And I think we're ready to play e5 and fight for that center. Push. Bring the knight out. The song is good. It's called Strutton by Thumpasaurus. I like it. Thanks for the uh, request. Gotta open up our Fianchetto Bishop. Okay, we're gonna trade queens, but I get to win the rook in the end. And I thought that was good. And now we're up the exchange. Time to start trading and liquidating. This knight is pretty centralized. Let's kick it out. See here. Hmm. 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 Yep. Let's offer some more trades. I want to win this. Okay. Let me go c5. It fixes this pawn there, but also takes away knight d4. And this knight doesn't have much space. But only has a couple squares that are useful. Yeah, see, that's not very dangerous. Now we're going to gang up on this pawn. But first, I'm going to improve my king. All right. Activate this rook. No worries. Okay, this is a good rook. If I could if I could get one rook here, that'd be checkmate. But I don't see how to do that. So maybe we should put both rooks on the seventh. Like this. Okay. 
now this knight can't move pretty much. So I'm gonna bring my own king in. Hey, said your knight can't move. Check. And let's win the pawn. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Now the king is cut off. The pawn protects the rook. Nothing could possibly hang, so we just drive that pawn down. And we make a queen and we perform the ladder checkmate. Nice and simple. All right, we've got Novus over here. We're trying to play it for both sides just to get some reinforcement. I almost played this because if you think about openings purely by memorization, you might not catch your opponent's mistakes, but it's good. We're paying attention early on. That's a free pawn. My snipers were ready. I will not trade because I like these. I spent time developing them. All right, let's get those knights developed. Let's get those knights developed. Like this. Like that. And because I won the e-pawn, it means that black's missing center pawn and I pretty much, well, black's missing more than the center pawn. They're gonna be missing both. Because that's another free pawn for me. I had two, two attackers, only one defender. Let's develop some more pieces. I think maybe my knight can go right here. I'm gonna put my queen and bishop on the same diagonal. Get a, uh, what's this called again? There's a word for it. Oh well. I'm increasing the power, a battery. A battery, that's right. And I don't even need the battery because uh, Novas is very jealous. Sorry, very generous. See, I can't can't speak right now. I'm just getting free pieces, all on the same diagonal. So what we've noticed through almost every episode is players are really bad at recognizing the long-term power of bishops, the long range. They they they'll often make the same mistakes on the same diagonal within a, the same game. As if the bishop all of a sudden stops in the middle of the board, it can't go further. There's like some vision issues. Yeah, everything was on this diagonal. Now let's bring the queen in, bring the rooks in. Goblin, look at this. Look at this position. Queen d7. I have a question for Goblin in the chat. White to play and move here. Speaking of bishops, speaking of diagonals, white to play here. I won't run out of time. You're going to say, I'm going to run out of time before you have it. I don't think so. I'm willing to gamble. It's white's move here. 
And we know Novas is very liberal with their pieces. They often leave pieces undefended. Look for undefended pieces. If you're not sure, a good series on undefended pieces, I think, is done by uh, John Bartholomew. Bishop e5, Goblin says. Bishop e5. But that's the same thing as it's the same diagonal. We can go queen, queen b8. Same diagonal. The queen also gets to move like that. Okay, now I have seven seconds to finish. Now I'm in a stressful situation, but I I don't regret anything. I can finish in seven seconds. Just give me the opportunity. Keep it coming. Wait, I gotta sit up. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose this. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay. I have to, uh, I'm gonna have to adjust the strategy. That is the earliest loss. Actually, I was really surprised Novas found Knight G7. They were blundering the entire game and then they started playing well. Well, that means I can't finish in seven seconds. That's all. Okay, okay. Takes me a long time, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Next game, here we go. Discus shot hammer. Good luck. Okay, the music I'm hearing right now is uh, is pretty rough. Okay, well the castle. Let's see here. So this is an opening where my opponent's not really doing anything either. Now I'm gonna grab some space. There we go. There we go. We like seeing that. That's the first free piece. My hippo is better than their hippo. And my bishop's defended. You see the difference? Let's grab that. Okay, let's bring this knight in, use our bishop, check, fork the queen and the rook. Now it's, uh, now it should be easy. Just the rook up. Rook and two pawns. I take, you take, I take, I think I'm ahead there. I 
come ahead. Yeah, after this, I'm just going to run this pawn. Or try to finish quickly and play rook d1, rook d8, mate. Something like that. Let's go to the next game. Let me cue up your song, Amanda. You probably get two songs, Amanda. I can't switch. Hey. Okay. Well, I can't fianchetto on that side. It's okay, it's okay. We can still have some fun. I got this bishop. This bishop, not yet, but we got other pieces. Perfect. That's the H file. That's open. Look at this bishop. You want to know a sexy looking move? It's going to be bishop f6 at the right moment. Not yet. At some point, I'm going to play bishop f6 to open up the file and get access to the king. They don't have to take, but I have a feeling they will. Now we're not going to get to play bishop f6. But we have the open g file. Well, I gotta fork that queen and rook. Thank you, thank you. Now we can just trade everything. Cause we're up a piece. Don't think black's gonna see checkmate. Could be wrong. So right now, there's been an hour of songs donated from the viewers. And the theme is donate, suggest songs that you like, but you don't think other people will like. I think so far, people have been doing a good job of that. Grab that. I'm happy to trade if you take like this. I can't. Oof. All right. Check. And then we're going to pick up that rook afterwards. Check. And let's bring the king in to fight that pawn. Those pawns are on the color of my bishop. That's not good news for my opponent. I'm going to attack the base. Bishop here is coming. Oh, that's even better. That's a free pawn. Thank you, thank you. I want to win this pawn. I can I can win this pawn whenever I want now, so let's pick up c5. There we go. Bitter lime. Good luck. The song is called Walking in Memphis by Mark Kahn. Never heard of him or the song, but it sounds nice. I uh, I think I'm pretty cultured in a lot of like uh, pop culture things, but music, absolutely opposite. I'm so unaware uh, when it comes to, yeah, very unaware, that's all. That's a category I'm, I'm the lowest in.
But you guys are suggesting these are good songs. Thank you. Me castle. Okay, we got this is the hippo setup. I know you might just be chilling here, but this is a setup. Get your knights set up like this, your bishops being kettled, and now you can decide if you want to be aggressive or not. You want to push. Be solid. I'm going to continue being solid for now. At some point, all my opponents have been blundering their bishops to my bishop. So we're going to see if that continues. I'm going to kill your song of pancakes. So now, black's not being too aggressive i'm probably gonna ask a couple questions c4 and there you go nobody's paying attention to their damn bishops thank you that's all all i needed to do was offer offer some candy in my unmarked van and the win is a win there we go bitter lime had nothing against my bishop Okay, this looks standard. They're playing fast. Oof. E4, let's count. One, two, three. Attackers, let's count the defenders. One, two. Where's the third defender? Don't see it. I don't see it. I'm gonna grab. That's okay, I'm just going to move back. We can just block the check. I love trades. I love I love trades. Thank you. I'm a pawn up after all. Let's, let's attack that bishop. Now we can castle. Open up our bishop, this other one, and reinforce that knight. Now you got a check in. You did get a check in. Hmm. Keep things simple. Double the rooks. Now we've won the D file. That's gonna give us a bit of space. Thank you for the bishop pair. Now let's improve our rook. Rooks are very effective on the seventh or the second. I mean, look at all the all the opportunity here. Mm, how should I approach this? I'm gonna try this move. I'm thinking about a double attack. Rook e5 next. Okay. Bishop e5. Let's question that rook. This is actually interesting because I think a lot of people would take here and take here and be like, I'm up two pawns and they'd be winning and you're right. But once you learn how to use the in-between move properly in chess, forcing moves first, huge benefit. So, white to play and win here. Instead of trading everything off, we throw in this check, rook for bishop, so we can win the rook cleanly. Rook takes e6 also would have won. Good job, chess prof and one. 3D in, good luck. Okay, let's continue the hippo. The hippo's pretty much undefeated. It's been very 
very reliable at least from an opening perspective after the opening things happen okay here we should start taking bets will white blender this night i'm gonna set the line at minus 350 minus 350 I'm going to be wrong. <laughs> we all lost money. That's why we shouldn't be betting. Oh, there you go. First player, maybe in the entire series that hasn't blundered. That's impressive. All right, let's just castle. Tuck our tail between our legs. At the same time, blocks up a pawn, so it's not the worst. I want to take away this square for the knight. Also, just grab some more space. Now my queen can go here. Maybe the rook goes here. Fight for the b-file. Yep. We like our bishops, but I like weak kings even more. Get to ruin white's on structure. Oh, this is a catchy song. I grew up listening to this, 1985. I could take this, I'll do it. defending let's go there this is a very annoying move attacking this and just infiltrating the camp an unpleasant an unpleasant feeling I don't know about that all right tactics time this is going to require board vision, understanding pins and angles, black to play, and win white's queen. There's lots of wins. You can win the game right away with rook b2, it wins. But I, I like something else, to practice board vision. B2 is a good move. We're going to pick this one. To notice that there's a, a lateral pin. Check. There we go. Good game. Gradient. You know, if I was playing you guys, and I was playing white, and I was losing, and you guys go rook b2, I would probably trick somebody here. Somebody here would still lose this game as black. Because white still has tricks. And there's one trick here that somebody here would fall for. Even, even at death's doorstep, 96 and somebody is going to take that knight and lose the game probably more than one person here and after pawn takes the queen and rook coordinate on g6 and you're dead today asks why did your opponent take the knight if they were going to lose my queen. Well, if they don't take my knight, they're in check and they're going to lose their queen anyways. Such as, for ejemplo, el rey e dos. Y uh, caballo 
C2 también. Captura. Cap Captura. I don't know. I'm, I'm rusty. There's the... There's the queen. Major Melon Zero. I'm not even pre-moving and they're still doing that. It's not even like I'm like, you know. We're not gonna take the rook. It's important to psychologically torture your opponents. I'm not gonna even trade. I'm gonna keep this bishop as a reminder, as a reminder of my opponent's sins this game. You're not gonna win my bishop. You're gonna have to give up, you know, your mortgage, your car, your firstborn daughter. You're not gonna win this bishop, I'm telling you. Unless you give up everything. Like here, I'm gonna get a free queen. No, you don't want, okay. I got some pieces coming to say hi. Sure. 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 Chase my bishop. We're doing an exercise here. Win my bishop. You don't win my bishop, you lose. This is what I do to people. Get him out of here. Oh, I want checkmate. Oh. I want... You want the rook, and I want checkmate. I like my... I like my variation. Because I get a double checkmate. Double checkmates are... In the catalog of checkmates, double checkmates are always more rare. Carlos H. Lo de Carlos. This bishop's happy. Oh, this is a nice song. Kindly by R.O. Shapiro. All of these songs I've never heard of. Get those knights set up. Okay. This is a scary move by Carlos, but I have knight c8. Okay, Carlos isn't doing it. I can't go knight here because this is hanging. I'll throw an a6. I'll put the knight here. It's a little different, but it's... Ah, now we're good. Knight b4, forking the queen in the pawn. We're happy, you're happy. Do we go for the rook or do we go for the pawn? I'll go for the, the rook. Wait, wait a sec. Fine. We're up a rook. Can't complain. I don't like my rook being pinned, so let's try to remove that. And now my knight's gonna come back from the dead. Like that. Just kidding. I was just kidding. Um, I just need to kick the queen out. Try knight c6. This queen goes somewhere like this. I can pick up the uh, the bishop.
Someone said free bishop. Smash Factor said free bishop. Smash Factors. Tell me. At what moment was there a free bishop? Smash Factors. Where did Smash Factors go? Did we miss a free bishop? Sources say no. All right. Let's go knight here. Hitting the queen. Doing a good job of uh, of holding on to the pieces, though. You gotta, you gotta give him some credit. Let's continue harassing the queen. Whoa! I'm sure everybody here can... There, there's a free queen. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I wouldn't have seen that. Thanks for letting me know there's a free queen. That's an assist. An assist for the chat. Those are also a free rook. I don't care about the rook. I want checkmate. Good game, Carlos. Spike foo. I would like to think my flamingo shirt would be more intimidating, but it's not working. Get the knights in. I'm getting ready. Spike Fu, I like what you're doing here. I think I'm actually still winning material, if I'm not mistaken. If I get remove your knight and I take here. I think I do win a pawn. It might have some negatives though. My king might be, be attacked. So I think black has some compensation here. Okay, not anymore. I don't think anymore it's as much of an issue. Hard to say. Maybe it still is. This is still tricky, you know. Okay. This is still a little bit tricky. Let's protect the king. Man, this music sounds like an orc trying to rap or something. What the fuck is this? I'm gonna castle, I don't see anything. Bring the king in, we don't want to hang anything. Okay, there's some energy here, there's some there's some threats. I need to quickly um, bring some reinforcements, right? Maybe this rook? Thank you. 
Is that a free pawn? I see a pawn, Patsur sees a pawn, Patsur takes a pawn. There we go. And now I'm gonna put my knight here because we don't mind trading, right? Like that. Technically, black can trade everything. But I don't think they want to do that because they're all in. Whoa! That's not what I expected. Alrighty, chat. White to play and win. Rook d8 is not the move. Checkmate. Let's get this Fianchetto set up. Okay. I should go H6. We got an aggressive, aggressive guy here. All right, let's bring that knight in. My setup's a little wonky because of this uh, very aggressive setup that my opponent's employing. I'm gonna have to change it up. My knight can't go d7. Still feel like I have two decent bishops. Push. And now we... Push. Okay. Let's grab some space. Yeah, this song does make me want to slow dance. Castle! Please go bishop e3 so I can go knight g4. Thank you. Remove the bishop. As soon as this knight moves, we're going bishop d4, winning the queen. So we just need to bait that. We just need to offer that. I want to move my king out of the way just to avoid any funny business. Okay, we're still we're still hoping for that. So I'm going to just keep waiting. The hippo in the swamp. Well, that's, I'm not going to be opposed to a free knight. We've noticed this is a recurring theme. A very recurring theme. I'm not interested in the rook. I'm interested in winning the queen. So we're going to just keep waiting for this knight to move and then the jaws are going to open. Still waiting. I'm still waiting. Move your night, buddy. Rich. There we go. Just have to be patient. Make decent moves in the meantime. Indian juggernauts here. Alrighty, alrighty. 
We got we got the great Kali. Let's go. Are there hippos in India? I'm a little disappointed I'm going to India next month, but I don't think there's any elephants where I'm going. I'd like to see an elephant in the wild. Never seen that. Alright, let's just castle. I mean, I have to go to Thailand, right? Thailand or India, or there aren't many places where you can see wild elephants. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to fight for some space. White's being very solid. It's okay, we can attack on the flank. Now we're transposing back to a King's Indian style. And I'm gonna go here. I got to ride an elephant in Thailand. It was sad since they're not well treated. Oh. The big move by Indian Juggernaut, by the way. Okay. This is a huge move by Indian Juggernaut. I'm, I'm not going to allow that. It's okay. We still have profit. Yeah, I don't know the details. I guess, yeah, so sorry. There's uh, India, Thailand, and Africa. I didn't mention Africa probably because that was like more obvious, but Africa is the other place. I think um, Botswana has a lot, if I'm not mistaken. And it's more a more stable place. Okay, what if I go e4 and fork your queen and knight? There is this move. It's not over yet. We're gonna see if uh, Indian Juggernaut keeps finding good moves. Queen e2 offers resistance. That does not offer resistance. And let's eat that. trades in yep trades my bishops are saying hi they're they're covered right now but it's like uh it's a trap they're camouflaged behind my knights the archers are behind the cavalry you've seen this before lord of the ring style that's one one knight unleashed. Now the bishops, there we go. See? Even my queen and rook were also camouflaged behind the knights. Let me grab that. Thank you. And this knight's gonna join as well. Check. And you're and this this we got another trap. Like that. And this bishop is the real MVP. Samaha, thank you. Oh, sorry. Samaha, good luck. I was gonna say, we're almost caught up on song. Here we go.
Okie dokie. Opening. Secure. Time for the middle game. No, I'm going to play a couple passive moves first. Just to take away squares. Like that. My hippo is still sunbathing. Okay, your castle and queen side. Now I know I must focus the efforts on the queen side. Maybe knight b3, b5. No trades. Nope. Don't want to open up this rook. They're looking to sacrifice? That's kind of scary. Hey. Whoa. Alright, b5. If I remove this knight, I can take here. Like that. A center pawn is worth a lot. Good. Very nice. Let's attack this queen. Let's get my, my rook activated on the A file. almost trapped let's start migrating the pieces over the hippos smell blood that queen has no protection this almost works but the queen can retreat to d6 i like my bishop here okay let's move out of the way hmm So, if you take the free bishop here, you will be met with a quick end. Unfortunately, my opponent's got some resources here. Bishop takes, knight takes, queen f6. It's a little sketchy, I must, must admit. That's not a good move. My king's actually going to use that as a blockade. Let's go. A knight here. I did not see that. If I take this knight, that's checkmate. I don't want that to happen. So we're going to have to take here. Uh, okay. Let's cover up. This is a good opponent, hey? Relatively speaking. Check. Yeah, they got some moves. They got some moves. Jeez Louise. Check. And let's pick up the queen. Check. Check. Wait a second. Wait a second.
I did miss a free queen. I, you know, when I attack somebody's queen and they don't move, I assume they move. That's the only thing I can say. I, I assume they moved when I played knight b5, and then when they took, I forgot they didn't move the queen. I just don't, I'm not used to that anymore. I'm rusty. Like, how can somebody not react to a knight attacking a queen? I missed it multiple times because it just, it's beyond me. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm elitist. But I did miss it. That was a, a test for the chat, Kappa. Let's get to 1300. I did not spudge. Can you remind me when? Okay, here we go. The fuck is that? What is this move? Let me ask my opponent. Jackie's Cafe. This is blitz, not bullet. I wasn't pre moving. If you're gonna. He's asked. He says, you don't like it? I do not understand it. You gotta time things against the right opponent. Are you offering a free bishop? They said yes. Okay. Okay, thanks. Perfect. We're good. That's a nice, um, honest conversation. Between myself and Jackie's Cafe. Leading to a quick win. See? Very wholesome. And there we go. 1300. A laborist 1300. Thanks for watching an episode of the Hippo Speedrun. If you want to stay up to date with all of our latest content, other speedruns, and future episodes of this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.